Hello everyone. Welcome back to study tip for NGCSE Mathematics. Today's topic is related to symmetry and logi. In this chapter, you will learn how to identify line symmetry of two-dimensional shapes, find the order of rotational symmetry of two-dimensional shapes, symmetry in three dimensions, and symmetry properties of circle. Without further ado, let's begin. Symmetry in two dimension. Two types of symmetry in two dimensional shapes. First is line symmetry. And secondly is rotational symmetry. Line symmetry is if the shape can be folded so that one half fits exactly over the other half, also called reflection symmetry. Symmetry in two dimension. Triangle A is symmetrical. The dotted line divides it into two identical parts. Triangle B is not symmetrical. You cannot draw a line which will divide it into two identical halves. If you place a mirror on the dividing line on shape A, the view in the mirror will be, will be that of the whole triangle. The line is called the line of symmetry or mirror line of the shape. Shapes can have more than one line of symmetry. Square have two lines of symmetry. Square is also have a four lines of symmetry. And triangles have three lines of symmetry. Infinite numbers of lines of symmetry is a circle. There are two types of symmetry in three-dimensional shape. Plane symmetry, rotational symmetry. Plane symmetry, a plane is a flat surface. If you can cut a solid in half so that each half is a mirror image of the other. Then the solid has plane symmetry. This diagram of a cuboid shows that it can be cut three different ways to make two identical half. The shaded area on each diagram represent the plane of symmetry. This is where you could cut it. There are three planes of symmetry in a triangle cuboid, as you can see from this diagram. Symmetry in three dimensions. This diagram shows two possible cuts through a spear that produce two identical half. A spear has an infinite number of planes of symmetry. So it is symmetrical about any planes that passes through its center. And symmetry properties of circle. A circle has line symmetry about any diameters and it has rotational symmetry about its centers. From this fact, a number of results can be reduced. The perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the center. Equal chord are uh, equidistant from the, from the center and chord equidistant from the center are equal in length. Two tangents drawn to a circle from the same point outside the circle are equal in length. The perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the center. The, the perpendicular bisector of chord AB is the locus of point equidistant from A and B. But center O is equivalent, is equidistant from A and B. OA and OB 
are ready of circle we center O. O must be on the perpendicular bisector of AB. This result can be expressed in other ways. The perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord meet the chord at its midpoint. The line joining the center of a circle to the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord. You can use this fact to find the length of chord and the length of side of right angle triangle drawn between the center and the chord. Symmetry properties of a circle. This is one of the work example. Chord AB, AB is drawn in a circle with a radius of 7 cm. OB. If the chord is 3 cm, OP, from the center of the circle, find the length of the chord correct to two decimal places. If you can remember, this is actually the uh, formula to get the Pythagoras theorem, which was already explained in chapter 11. So what you have to do is PB to the power of 2 equals to PB to the power of 2 equals to OB to the power of 2, OB to the power of 2 minus OP to the power of 2. So as a result from this, 7 to the power of 2 become 49, 3 to the power of 2 become 9. 49 minus 9 become 40. So PB equals to square root 40. So the value of chord AB is actually 2 times because the size of AP is equivalent to PB. So chord AB is actually 2 times to the power of square root of 40 and the result is 12.65 centimeter because the question asks you to correct to the two decimal places. Okay, we have another example. Symmetry, properties of circle. Okay, O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. Radius 11 centimeter. The radius is 11 centimeter. A, B and C, D are caught. A, B and C, D are caught. A, B is is 14 centimeter. A, B is 14. If O, X equals to O, Y. O, X equals to O, Y. Find the line of O, Y. Find the length of O, Y. Correct to two decimal places. Okay. If you see here, if O, Y, D is actually take up a value of 90 degree. Since O, X, O, X, O, X, O, Y is the same, chords are equidistant, so A, B, a, B and C, D is equal to 14 centimeter. So C, Y, C, Y and Y, D is 7 centimeter. C, Y or Y, D is 7 centimeter. Okay. And O, Y is perpendicular bisector of C, D. O, Y is perpendicular bisector of C, D. So knowing that, as I already mentioned just now, OYD is equivalent to 90 degree. So OY to the power of 2 equals to OD to the power of 2 minus YD to the power of 2. This is the formula for to get the theorem Pythagoras. Okay, so OD, OD is 11. So 11 to the power of 2 minus YD. YD, we already know that is 7 because CD is 14. So YD is 7. 
to the power of 2. So 121 minus 49 equals to 72. OY equals to square root of 72. So give the value of 8.49 centimeter. That's all for this topic. Thank you very much.